in this video I will show you how you can upload a folder directly on a, your uh, GitHub profile uh, firstly uh, I will uh, provide you some information if you try to upload your folder directly on your GitHub profile on github.com it won't allow you to upload a folder you can just only upload a zip file or uh, manually create your uh, folders and subfolder to categorize your files so, but it is a very cumbersome and bothering process to upload a uh, huge projects uh, on, uh, on in this way because if you try to upload a project like Android application or a web development uh, uh, projects or software which contains hundreds or uh, thousands of files so it will be a very bothering process to manually create them so first of all what you have to do is you just need to download this GitHub desktop application after downloading and installing you just need to open it then it just open uh, we just need to click on this uh, print repository button and in this sidebar click on this add button in this panel, in this select this add existing repository option. Here you have to provide the path of your folder directory of your project. This is my directory and this is my project's folder. This select this folder. Now it is uh, showing that this uh, project folder is not a uh, GitHub repository. So you you just have to create it create a repository first. Click on this blue link. It will pop up a new window. And uh, here you can see this name is already fetched by the path that we have provided already. Uh, so uh, this is the name that basically appear. I, I'll show you where it will appear. It will appear over here. Whatever your name you put in that box, it will appear over here. And after that name box, there is a description box. Whatever you put in this box, it will appear under this title over here. Your description of your software's project will appear over uh, under your title. Here we have provided the local path. It is uh, asking that uh, whether to create this project repository with a default readme file or not. So just check this box. So this is gitignore. Gitignore, uh, uh, as you can see, here are several uh, file extensions and uh, other platforms like C++, C, Kotlin, etc. What is this gitignore for? Gitignore is uh, uh, actually a text file that tells git which file or folder to ignore. So I'll just leave it none because I don't want to. Uh, uh, make my any file to be ignored uh, <coughs> this is the license license is a kind of a, as you can see a distributed security for uh, open source platforms there are certain licenses uh, for different uh, purposes and of different security levels and there are several restricted and uh, uh, permit permissive too and uh, there are several other popular softwares but there uh, there are just four common statements that are common in all these licenses uh, which are the software can be modified and used commercially and distributed uh, the second one is software can be modified and used in private a license uh, and copyright notice must be included in the software and the last one is software authors provide no warranty with the software and are not liable for anything if we um, should consider this thing as uh, this is for our security purpose so no one can sue us so I just randomly select this uh, revised version of BSD level 3 and uh, just click on this uh, create repository button it will take few seconds to create a repository before publishing it it will take few seconds to create a repository uh, now it just has created now what we have to do we just uh, need to publish our repository so for this just click on this publish repository button it pop up another window uh, where it is asking us to select which platform we try we want to upload our repository whether it's on a github.com or, or upload it as an enterprise server so i just leave it uh, on uh, as a github.com and these are the name and description boxes that we have already seen here's another checkbox as you can see over here uh, this is basically for transparency of your repository if you keep it checked it will make your code private no one gonna have access to your repository except you and your permitted contributors so i just want to keep my code public so everyone can have access to uh, my repository after that just click on this publish repository uh, it will take few seconds to publish your repository on uh, github uh, profile okay that's it the process has finished now we just uh, cross verify on our github profile that whether the repository has been uploaded or not just refresh the page under this title there are several things that you can see the first one is showing in which code language this project has been developed the second is showing uh, our associated license that we associate with our repository while uploading it uh, let's just open it now you can see their folders that has already been created we just didn't create them manually and there are over certain files in this project and subfolders too 
so this is a very hands on a uh, process to upload your big projects on a git on your data profile so here it is another extra description field if you uh, provide some sample description it will appear under your uh, repository title let's just save it and i will show you here where it will appear it will appear under the title of your repository here it is as you can see so this is all for this video so these are the few basics of repository uploading on uh, github if you find this tutorial informative just click on that subscribe button and don't forget to leave comment thank you